Hi, I'm Mr. Omgyo. Okay, I'm going to discuss the factors affecting the resistance of wire. Okay, um, the first factor will be length. Okay, um, if the length of the wire is long, right, basically the charges has to go through a longer path in order to complete the circuit. That's why the resistance will be higher. So, uh, when the length increases, the resistance is going to increase. Okay, next, uh, cross-sectional area. Uh, let's use the analogy of a road. Okay, if I have a four lanes road compared to a two lanes road, the four lane is likely to have a smoother traffic. And uh, for the two lane road, right, because uh, if you have a lot of cars that's trying to squeeze through a two lane, it's going to cause traffic jam. So it's the same thing as uh, the cross sectional area of a wire. The thicker the wire, There's more spaces for the charges to flow through, so the resistance will be lower. Okay, with uh, these two relationship, right, we can actually come out with a formula. Okay, we find that um, resistance is directly proportional to length, and resistance is inversely proportional to area. So, we combine these together, we can say that the resistance is directly proportional to L over A and if we change this into an equation form right it's going to be R is equal to a constant multiplied by L over A okay this will be our formula here and what is this constant this constant here we call this the resistivity and it depends on the material that uh, the wire is made of and uh, if let's say the material are the same right the resistivity will be the same